Hey everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies, and we're Jesus playing uh, Division 2, Electric you know, Revenge of the Sith. We're finally back. Yeah, we're Karen's back got her mask this. on, so yeah. look at the camera. Oh yeah, oh good job Aaron with the masks. Yeah. Not everybody in Washington is doing that, especially the president. Yep. Who's well, an asshole, and I hate him. And that's we're going to go so tell him, because we're at the Capitol building. Ooh. That's not where the president lives, but okay. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't live in the White House. Yes, he does. Nope, not in this game. Uh, okay. Oh, are we doing this mission? We are, yeah. I fucking hate this mission. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you, I'm assuming you're not doing it on, you know, ream your asshole apart difficulty. Well, we're doing it on hard, because we did all the other missions on hard, and that's not giving me... It's not invaded, that, though, yeah. is it? No, nope, just regular mission. So, between he, between this, the last time we played this, yep. and now, I have since played and beaten most of the game. <laughs> yeah, Adam has played through the entire game. Uh, including the DLC, which has the most dog shit ending I've ever seen <laughs> in a video game. With the most bullshit fucking boss. I hate it so much. To the point where it made me uninstall the game. Uh, well, we will see once we get to that bit. <laughs> yeah, we too are going to... Uh, do that mission. You are just tearing through these guys. What do you have on the on your back there? It's like a big like a like a carton of milk or something. A carton of milk. Oh, <laughs> that's my uh, rocket launcher. Oh, okay. Man, I got the shit shot out of him. So, ah. yeah. so uh, yep. I mean, last time we, we said we were gonna head to uh, Capitol Hill and look at the Gal Eight, which uh. is currently lighting up the fucking thing with no real finesse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also mortaring the hill for some reason. Yeah. I love how I love how the what are these guys the first sons the true sons the, true sons yeah. yeah they they have all these defenses and they have mortars and the galway and everything set up to, and then one woman essentially is or a Not man depending anyone. on who you're playing as is able to just bust her way in here and shoot the fuck out of him like oh man like a, a amazing tactical setup you got here yeah, one wait, person, person is able to absolutely destroy your. Uh, your your uh, your entire military infantry. That guy was doing a little jig there. <laughs> yeah, I killed him with dick shots. <laughs> the last time I did this, it took me and Sandy about half an hour to fight our way up this hill. Because <laughs> we were when we did it, we were doing the 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 black tusk. You know, there's drones everywhere and they hate you. Mission. What was that you just launched? Oh, is that the? Oh, are you, are you running with? Uh, was it Firefly or whatever? A uh, stinger hive. Yeah, there we go. Um, yep, since since the last time we played, the gear and item and stat system has can has been completely changed twice. <laughs> Shortly after we finished uh, filming episodes, they changed the system to something that the community wildly hated, and it's probably half the reason you found the last mission bullshit. Uh, Was it because that the bad guys could just haul an, an, an inordinate amount of gadgets out of his asshole? Uh, well, that's, that is one kind of bullshit facet of it. There's your Galway at him. Oh man, here which, it comes. Which you've already seen yep. by now because you've already played the game. But to keep continuity with these videos. Uh, um, and you don't get to use it, which is disappointing. I was expecting like, oh man, like there's waves of guys heading up here. Let's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Wipe them out with it. Yeah. That would have been fun, but nope. Ubisoft was too busy fucking us around in the Assassin's Creed video, which may or may not be out by this point. Anyway, yeah. Climbing up on Sastry Hill, I can see the city Yeah, the game lights. was just too hard. Like, armor meant nothing. It still kind of means nothing. Yeah, I also found that, like, you were just getting the... I was getting the... I don't know if it was just because I didn't have the right gear or whatever. I'm sure that was part of it, but I just had a really hard time because I would get... I would, my armor would go down, and all the enemies were super spongy. So it just made yeah. me not really want to play it anymore. Yeah, that was one. That was one aspect of it. They they kind of scaled it in a way they wanted to make it challenging, but oh shit, they made it so that you pretty much needed to play an armor build. I'm using a skill build at the moment, which is not the most robust uh, build, and I am not used to playing it because I am used to playing a different build, but I'm not using that one at the moment because I'll beat this mission too fast for the episode length. What's, uh, what's the other, what's the build, what's that build? The other build is Hunter's Fury. I call it my giant wick build. Um, yeah, I'll use it for the next one at Tidal Basin. And your drone is just rinsing people apart. Yeah, it, the main purpose of this build was to be able to do heroic missions without getting shot at. Oh, see, because I remember when I discovered the little drone the that it takes some of the heat off you, and then if you pair it with a with a turret, uh, that can actually help out. 
Remember, remember the mission that me and you and Sandy did, where there was like a bunch. We we there was a bunch of dudes. Like there was like three of those up armored minigun asshole dudes, and we just couldn't beat it. And it was like a like twelve thirty at night. We just all wanted to go home. Uh, I can't remember what mission it was, but I don't know. I remember having a lot of trouble with that mission. And so we had we laid down like like six turrets. And yeah. they did nothing. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We took on a heroic thing like pretty much immediately after the the, the gear change. Yeah. So it was, it was insanely difficult, especially with like three people that weren't like fully specked out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that guy got annihilated. <laughs> I forgot how much they kind of explode. Yeah, and you get when you nail their weak spots, it's pretty good. Like, can you imagine being this, th oh, these sure guys, and just having this one person just, like, literally running through your base? Yeah, so it makes the John Wick build so fun. <laughs> Cause you're just, like, fucking backflipping over dudes. Did you name your little drone? Uh, no. You gotta name your drone. Uh, whatever, I don't know. You should call it BB-9. Some customer service or something. Karen likes to talk to it a lot, so... I forgot her name was Karen. Yeah. I said Karen. It's been so long, it's been eight months or whatever. Yeah, it has been eight months. Fuck. This was awful. She had to put her uh, like <laughs> Siege kinda... of America on hold. <laughs> we stopped playing it, I kind of stopped thinking about it, but this <laughs> the world is becoming more and more like the division <laughs> as, we as, as 2020 rolls on. And I'm, it, it, it stopped being funny. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if this, obviously if this game was in development now, like the first game, it would not have come out. No. It would have been like indefinitely delayed, you'd never hear from it again. In fact, Warlords probably wouldn't have come out, because Warlords came out in March. Yeah. Which is pretty much, again, about the fallout of New York after a fucking viral apocalypse. Yeah, I think we were talking about it at the time, and we were like, well, you know, this is fine, right? And then it wasn't. Yeah, because I mean, I've been playing with friends in between then and now, and it's been like... Man, I got escape reality. Real world sucks. I'm gonna go play the division. Yeah, <laughs> like where everything is worse. Everything is awful. Everything sucks when you're part of a team. Everything sucks when you're part of America. Yeah. And that guy just got annihilated. You know what else was bullshit? The fucking Metal Gear robot that you have to fight in one of the in the in the Pentagon missions. I hate that fucking thing. Oh. Some, it, there's weird RNG on that one. Sometimes, uh, you can kill it before you get to the rooftop. Really? And other times, it, like, fucks off immediately. Jesus Christ. Yeah, run over here. Run into my radius. You got it. Actually, just More like it your anus. <laughs> I wouldn't come back over here, dude. Well, you just shoot yourself again? Yeah. Speaking of anus. Yep, and this year sucks, because we didn't get any new movies, except uh, we got for $50. A, and Ten Tent, which nobody saw. Who? Ten, or Tenant, or whatever. Oh, t oh, I thought Ten Ten was like some shitty kid movie. <laughs> Tenant, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to come up here yet. You know, I've, I've played this mission a ton of times, I've never done that. No. Apparently, if you look down in there before you signal the flare, it just doesn't load. Uh, Ubisoft, pay attention. Is it loaded now? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta look at the helicopter because they shoot a Sam in it. Beep, 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 That woke you up. Is that Agent Faye or whatever on that? Who? What's her name? The, the, the other agent? Oh, uh, Kelso? Yeah, there we go. No, I don't think that was anybody. But there is Cindy. There's Cindy and Manny. Right. I think it's Cindy. Cindaria? No. But that would be interesting if there was a dragon in, from your D&D campaign this in this game. Be. How fucked would that be? Like, if your D&D character was in this game as an NPC. Like, and this is Kit! He's a, he's a, he's a ranger druid. Like, <laughs> Jesus. The ranger druid has been playing druid wrong for two years. Yeah. Uh, nobody cares about this, but on your... Was Cindaria dragon that whole time? Uh, yeah. Or was there? Cause like I remember long, like way back when you're like, there's a dragon called Sundaria and a character called Sundaria, but they're not the same. <laughs> like, but they probably are though, right? And they're like, nope. And then it's like, oh yeah, they are. Yeah. Well, to be fair, 
Uh, was that her character trope, or was that something that you did? Uh, she, we kind of came up with it together. Oh, okay. Because she used to be a PC played by another character who left the game, um, then went to school in uh, in Europe, uh, and she's doing really, really well. And I replaced her or something. No, you replaced. Actually, yeah, you did. You okay. did replace her. I'm gonna say, did I replace the asshole, or did I repl replace? Uh... No, Emily replaced the asshole. Oh, okay. Because they you kind of you replace one with the other. If I mean, me. uh, yeah. Who's the who's oh the leader God. of the True Sons? What's his name? Uh, the True Sons guy. What's his name? Uh, He's a colonel, isn't he, or or a, or a, a, a general or something? Yeah. Uh, fuck, I can't remember. Brain farting. Because he just, was he was National Guard, if I remember correctly. Something like that. They just added an uh, an exotic uh, named after him. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, it's his... Effectively, it's his chest armor. Oh. I can't remember it, but we're about to kill him, so we'll find out. Something like... Oh, Ridgeway, I think is what it is. General, general Ridgeway. Ridgeway. That's not a bad name for General. Oh. You're He's vomiting on you. You're the screen. Huh? That guy was vomiting on you. I've been playing this for a video so weird now. Why? It's so long. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been like eight months. Yeah. Oh shit. So much has changed. Yeah. I'm just happy that tomorrow I can wake up without having fucking construction near my house. Cause oh. I told you about this, but I'll say it again for the video. Uh, they're redoing my road outside my house, and they start at 7.30 in the morning. So, like, every morning this week they've been... They've been like going up and down the street with like a with like a, a what are they called? The, what what flattens the road? A steamroller. And um, run the wrong way there, bud. Um, it's it's annoying because it shakes the house quite badly. A steamroller? Yeah. Okay. It's it sounds like a road. Pounder or something. No, it's the steamroller. It just shakes, and we're not the only house that it shakes. It shakes every house on the street, and it's just not like a lot, run, but it drive vibrates. Drive against your house, and, yeah, and start nudging your house with it. Um, and so I've been woken up by that, and then this morning, even though there wasn't a steamroller, we still got opened up because the the steamroller yesterday punctured one of the water mains, and so they had to dig out in front of our house, and so they were like, "Move your car. Or it's not going to be, or you're not going to be able to move it at all." Because there's gonna be a hole for your like separating your driveway from the road. Yeah, so then they had to dig up a hole, fix the pipe, and bury it all again. So I, Sweet. in order to get my car today, I had to walk like two, like a block and a half away. <laughs> you can't. That's as close as you could park. Yeah, because you can't park in the, like <laughs> my street. <laughs> Sorry, you can't park on my street because of all the construction. Oh. So I had to park like the next street down. Yeah, well, I mean, the fucking, there's construction here as well. It's a bit further down, so it's not as loud, but they start at, like, 5.36. And you just, you just hear, like, if you have any of the windows open, which, thankfully, now we don't need to have them open because it's starting to get chilly, yeah. but... Uh, you can just hear, like, they're... I'll do one better. Sandy, like who's been on the show a couple times, um... When they were building the new development near his house, they were blasting into the rocks at six in the morning. <laughs> well, I guess it's not as bad as uh, Andrew's house, where they they blew up his house. Yeah, it sent like like fist-sized rocks through his car and window. Yeah, broke windows, busted up his roof, wrote off two of his cars, I think. Like actually wrote them off. Yeah. And they're like, oh, sorry. Oh, geez, that's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, have a free lemonade on us. <laughs> Small lemonade. There's a Tim's cool pan. Expires tomorrow. It's valid only in Clarenville. <laughs> Where's fucking Ridgeway? Come on, mate. I love really, uh, I love, I love the idea of really inconvenient gifts. Like, uh, like the, the family guy bit where somebody gives Pete, uh, he's like, I hate ah! this guy. He always gives me really, really, uh, inconsiderate gifts. He's like, hey, Peter, nice to see you again. Here's some tropical fish. They need to be fed every two hours, and they, and I were just fed an hour and a half ago. <laughs> It's like you're watching too much Top Gear or something. Yeah. Or they're like, they're in oh, India yeah. or something, and he, yeah. Hammond's driving a Mini, and he, he fucking, Clarkson gives him a fucking uh, big-ass bass. Yeah. <laughs> like, or, uh, what was that? In? What what special was that? It was the India special. Yes, it was, yeah. And uh, also of the, uh, in Vietnam, when they give Richard the, the, the massive galleon. Oh, I gotta fucking extract. <laughs> yeah. On his tiny-ass bike. Yeah. 
that they ended up spray painting pink. So I genuinely think that the hardest trip for the cars was probably the uh, Patagonia special. Might have been, yeah. There's because a lot of rain there. yeah, and like, like, and like even like when you look at like the Bolivia special, that was a tough special, but at least they were in all in theoretically off-road cars. But yeah. in the Patagonia special, they were going through very similar rough terrain, but they were in two-wheel, you know, s you know, sports cars essentially, all of them. I guess the only other, the one that was probably toughest on them, besides the Polar special, which was just tough all around. Yeah. Uh, I'd say, uh... Particularly on Hammond, because I, I, I found out later on that he had had his, uh, his massive accident not that much... Uh, earlier? Not, not that much earlier than when they did that video. Oh. Yeah. So he was, like, up in the North Pole completely out of his mind, like, holy fuck. He, still, he said he was still a bit loopy. Because, I mean, he did go through a pretty severe accident. Yeah. I guess if you're unfamiliar, he was driving a, uh, like a land speed car and flipped it at 300 miles an hour. I'm surprised it didn't kill him. Yeah. He probably should have died a couple times, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, they all have. I mean, in yeah. the Polar Special, James put a shot, loaded shotgun up to his face. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back now to... Uh, oh, you blitzed your way through that. Head on over to Tidal Basin. Um, yeah, how long did that take? Let's it see. took about 16 minutes. Yeah, almost 18 minutes. So yeah, yeah I mean that was the, I, I, the Bolivia special was hard on them, uh, just because it was so hot and dangerous. Um, Patagonia was rough for James, just because he fucking shattered his ribs. Uh, yeah. But I generally think out of all of the, not counting Grand, also when they Tour, went to the Middle East, he smashed his head on a rock. Oh yeah. When they he got he got between the car and the and the tow rope. The tow rope and the turbo flicked him backwards. Yeah. Awesome. So he, he could have gotten a lot more injured from that as well. Um I know that um uh in in the in the Patagonia special um or not in the Patagonia special in the uh I know Jeremy was really worn out by the uh the Burma special. Uh, just because the, 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 the truck was so bad. And then Hammond's, Hammond's truck had a church pew or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I fucking hate sitting on wooden chairs. Yeah, oh, I can I only imagine it. driving, like, a thousand miles on one. Yeah, and, like, the roads were, t like, th that in the India special, like, there's like, oh, we're driving down the middle of a two-lane, like, like, westbound highway, and then all of a sudden there was a car coming uh, down the, like, a truck coming down the middle of both lanes, the other ray, and it's honking its horn at you like you're the problem. Like, beep, 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 beep. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, stupid ass horns. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a turkey. <laughs> like, oh, we, let's have super annoying horns because we don't use lights or lanes yeah. or rules of any kind. Like when um, Hammond is, uh, or the. No, they were. It was in the Indie special, and some guy just ran into Jeremy and destroyed his car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, and then he off. just drives away, and he's in a bus full of people. And it's like you can't just hit someone and drive off. And he's like, "Yep, yeah, get out of the way." Yeah. Go away, please. New clan level reached. And then we got a new clan level. Ooh, sweet! I don't know what that means. Uh, yep. Yeah. I still think the Vietnam special is my favorite. I mean, they're all pretty great. I'm about to go where no American has gone before. <laughs> yeah. And then he proceeds to fall off his scooter and eat shit. That's my favorite top tier line, probably, which is, Where do you think Jeremy is? I have no idea. <laughs> Could be dead. <laughs> Smash cut to him in the, in the driving rain on a moped, driving up the street and screaming out, I'm the most miserable human being alive! Where is this restaurant? <laughs> Where is it? The only thing I'm illuminating is my own stupid face. <laughs> There's a million mirrors on it. Yeah. <laughs> I've done a, a 700 miles on a train on on a scooter, 200 miles on the train, and about 50 miles on my face. <laughs> also, like in the uh, in the um, Cambodia special when they <laughs> when Jeremy <laughs> when Jeremy's like, I'm going to christen my boat. Duma and he hawks the wine ball and it just doesn't <laughs> shatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the fucking the next video should be out soon or next special. What is it? Madagascar. Oh, is it? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they went to Madagascar and I think for two days they were on the wrong island from the camera crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were they? So they're like, uh, 
I think it, like James and the camera crew were on one plane or something, and then there's like a picture from uh, Richard and Jeremy on an island by themselves. <laughs> You're like, whoops, there's nothing here. I'm curious to see that. I think the next one is already filmed as well. Like nice. they went to Scotland. Scotland? Yeah, they were gonna go to Russia, but COVID, so they went to Scotland. Not not quite as exotic. No, not quite. But I guess they kind of had to explore their own backyard. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I guess that'll do it this week. Yep. All right, we'll see Back you next week. Back into the mix, yeah. Oh, this, uh, this is floating. Sure. All right.